Yo, what is poppin' YouTube? I'm back with another video, and before we start today's video, I want to give you guys the chance to click that subscribe button below. Turn the notifications on. I'll keep you guys updated with the sneaker news in today's world. Click that subscribe button. It really helps out. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and without further ado, let's get straight into it. So some of you may know, the Sneakers app, they did a shock drop on the Resident 3s last night. And let me just tell you guys about this. So I was on the Sneakers app at the time that they did the drop, and I refreshed the page because I don't, I don't even know why I was on the app. I was just scrolling through the app looking at the shoes that they had. And when I refreshed the page, it said Resident 3s out now or releasing now or dropped or I don't know. It said something like that. And then I was like, should I cop these or not? Nah? And I was really hesitant because the Black Cat 4s came out and I went to the store to pick those up because I really wanted those. And I was just stuck between the decision of do I return the Black Cats and get the rest of the 3s or keep the Black Cats because I really want them. And I was just like, you know what, I'm going to just stick to, I'm just going to save my money, not get the rest of the 3s and just keep the Black Cats because I really wanted the Black Cats this year and I got them. So... I'm just, I just said I'm going to keep them. Right now, those are added into my collection. The rest of the 3s, they will be releasing again. So when the time comes, we'll see if I'll, I'll get a pair or not. But let me know in the comment section if any of you got the shot drop or if any of you took an L on it. Rest of the 3s, those will be releasing February 15th. Uh, I think that's during All-Star Weekend. I'm pretty sure it's All-Star Weekend. And I know Jordan is doing something at the Jordan brand stores with uh, Chi-Town in Chicago for the All-Star Weekend. Those are going to be very limited because those are only going to be located in Jordan stores. And I think there's only three at the moment. I don't know if there's one in LA, but there's definitely one in Chicago. I'm pretty sure there's one in Canada still. I don't know. I don't, the third one might have been LA. I forget where it's at. So Jordan brand will be releasing those February 15th during All-Star Weekend with Chi-Town on the back of them. So those will be retailing at $200 and $220 after tax i'm pretty sure as i was saying the black cat fours they did release yesterday uh i was lucky enough to get my pair those retailed at 190 after tax it was two 210 i believe something like that i forget most sizes are sold out so um maybe you'll get lucky enough to just walk into the store one day when you when you want the pair and then the, hopefully they'll be there if not then oh well January 25th, Jordan 9 Racer Blues will be releasing. I'm not really a huge fan of the 9s, but this colorway, I think it's pretty dope. I don't like the reflectiveness that they have going on with the shoe. They would have just kept it solid black. I think it would have been a better shoe in my opinion. But I do love the Royal Blue that's located on the Jordan logo and the 23 that's on the back of the hill. I think that's a good head turn. It makes someone like turn their head and like look at the shoe. Royal Blue, um, pretty nice color. The Jordan 9s will be retailing at, I believe, $200 maybe 190 I don't know I'm looking at them right now and I don't see the price but I'm pretty sure they'll be retailing at 190 it's a Jordan 9 here we have another collab with Clot and Nike these will be releasing on January 25th they released early on this website called Juice Store. It's a, it's a store in Japan. My friend was telling me about it. I got on the website, tried to get the shoe 10.5, wasn't able to get it. Um, they ended up selling out. But after they sold out, they ended up doing refunds. So I'm pretty sure they didn't even have enough shoes to give out to people. That's their problem. They messed up on that. This shoe was retailing at 250. I'm gonna try and get my hands on these January 25th because I wasn't able to get them uh, a couple days ago once they released on the Juice Store. So like I said, these are retailing at $250. The resale is pretty high right now at it's sitting at eight hundred dollars if i was able to get those shoes a couple days ago i would have flipped them i would have had some chicken in my pocket i would have been good up next we have the travis scott dunks these will be releasing at 150 dollars i'm pretty sure they're going to be selling on sneakers app they will be able for pickup in certain locations certain stores so make sure you uh go to launch locator figure it out see if your store is going to have them if you get your hands on this shoe you're going to be pretty much lucky these shoes are fire uh everything about this shoe i like just to like bandana print on it it's just it's really fire in my opinion shout out to nike and travis scott for doing another collab i'm pretty sure they're gonna have a lot more collabs coming in the near future these will be retailing at 150 like i said and if you want them get your hands on them try and get them do what you need to do to get this shoe and uh without further ado let's get to the next one I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but Cole Bennett will be releasing a pair of Jordans during uh, Super Bowl weekend, so February like 3rd or something like that. They will be releasing Cole Bennett, Jordan collab. Um, I don't really like them in my opinion, but the colorways, uh, it's pretty dope. I just don't like the format of the shoe, but I'm pretty sure they'll be super limited be, uh, being that it is Cole Bennett and that it's his first collab with Jordan. So there's not a set release date. I just know he said they'll be coming out during Super Bowl weekend. I don't know which date, but they will be releasing Super Bowl weekend if you want to get your hands on this pair of shoes. 
in February, we have two more colorways of the Sakai waffles. There will be a white colorway and a black colorway. These are retailing at $160. I'm pretty sure the resale is going to be high on these, being that the last ones were. You can't really go wrong with these pairs of shoes, the black with the white. Pretty dope shoe, in my opinion. There's no set release date. I just know that they're going to be releasing in February. <laughs> That is going to be all the sneaker news that I have for you guys in today's video. Um, make sure if you want these shoes, stay up to date. Uh, I suggest going on sneakernews.com, looking at the upcoming release dates of 2020. That will keep you updated. Or you can just keep checking out on everyone's videos that's releasing to keep you updated. I also did a sneaker pickup and on feet review of the Jordan 4 Black Cat. So if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description below. Or you can wait until the end of the video to click the video that will be right here. That's pretty much going to be all that I have for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Leave a comment of your favorite upcoming release. That will be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Had to get a brand new bit, cause I get bored too quick.